OK, so if you've got Windows 11, then this is something you must check right away. It could mean the difference between being able to rescue your computer and data if you get locked out of it, if it gets hacked, your password gets changed or you forget your password or even if Microsoft release an update which causes it to crash or losing everything. So what you need to do, first of all, is click on the start button. That's the four blue boxes at the bottom of the screen. Then on your keyboard, type data encryption. As you're typing it, you should see under best match data encryption system settings. Left click once on this, then scroll down to data encryption and then left click manage device encryption. Now, when you go in there, if you see the device encryption is turned on, we need to think about whether or not we're going to leave it on. Now, I'm going to discuss that today and try and tell you what I think is best for you and your computer. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, what does this option mean? Well, if it's switched on, it means that all the information on your computer is encrypted, meaning if your computer is to get stolen or fall into the wrong hands, then nobody can see any information on that computer. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Well, not always, because it also means if you don't have your encryption recovery key, then if your computer was to fail or you was to forget your password or your computer was hacked and your password was changed, or Microsoft were to release an update which caused your computer to crash or lock you out of the computer, then there's no way that anyone would be able to recover your PC or its data stored on there. Meaning that unless you had a good recent backup, then you could potentially lose everything off the computer. Now, not even a computer expert would be able to get past that because it's an encryption. So therefore, it's everything scrambled. And the only way you can get to that is with the recovery key. So what should you do? Well, if you've got no secret information on the computer, then I think you can safely turn this setting off. You might be thinking if you do online banking on the computer, you should leave this on. But unless you save your bank statements on the computer, then you're pretty much OK to turn this off anyway, as the online banking is all done online rather than stored on your computer. But you might want to check your downloads folder to see if you've downloaded any bank statements there. Also, if your computer is not password protected, then again, you're OK to turn off encryption because let's face it, anyone can get to your information just by turning your computer on anyway. But what if you do have vital information or you want to protect your files in case the computer is ever lost or stolen? Now, some companies do require this as part of their data protection. So if you do work for a company, then please, if you do use your computer for company work, then check with your company to see whether they require encryption to be on before considering turning this off. But what if you do have vital information or you want to protect your files in case the computer is ever lost or stolen? Well, firstly, you need to ensure that you've got your recovery key. And there's a couple of places that you can find this. First of all, I would say open your web browser. So I'm going to open Microsoft Edge. And then once it's open, go to the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search the web bar. Go to the address bar at the top and type in there account.microsoft.com forward slash devices forward slash recovery key. Pause this video if you need to make a note of that. Then once you've typed that in, press enter or return on your keyboard. Now, if it asks you to sign in, then sign in. Then once you've logged in, you should see your device name, a key ID and a recovery key. Now, if you've got more than one device listed, then you need to check to see what your current device name is. To do this, click on the start button. That's the four blue boxes at the bottom of the screen and then type the word about on your keyboard. 
and then hopefully after a few seconds under best match you should see about your PC system settings. Left click once on that. Now please ensure so you should see above device specifications the name of your device and make sure that that matches up with device name under here. Now please ensure that you carefully note down this recovery key. Perhaps if you can print it and also keep it somewhere safe. Perhaps print several copies off and store it in several places for safekeeping. If you ever lose this key then if your PC crashes without it there is no way to get back into the PC and recover your system or your files. So it is very very important that you do keep a copy of this, this recovery recovery key and also if you do write it down triple check that you've written it down correctly. Now if you can't find a recovery key in here or a recovery key that matches the name of your computer there is somewhere else we can look. So if we go back to our desktop click on the start button that's the four blue boxes at the bottom of the screen and type bit locker and ho hopefully as you're typing it you should see under best match manage bit locker move your mouse over that left click once and then hopefully here if bit locker is switched on you should see there back up your recovery key move your mouse over this left click once now I should say this here would only be available in professional versions of Windows 11 It's not available in the home versions but here it gives you an option to save your key to your Microsoft account save it to a file which you can put on a USB stick or an external hard drive or print the recovery key. Now I would say if you can try doing all three of these so you've got it in three places because again if you lose this key then there's no way back into your PC when Microsoft write that update which crashes your PC which they've done before and then there's no way of fixing your PC and more importantly there's no way of getting to your files. So also, please ensure whichever method you choose to note down your recovery key, if you do keep encryption turned on or BitLocker turned on, then do make sure that you regularly back up your PC to an external hard drive, a USB stick, and also make sure that you've got a good cloud backup as well because again I can't stress this enough if anything should happen to your PC if the PC was to crash if your password was to be hacked and changed and you was locked out of your PC if Microsoft or any other company was to release an update which caused your PC not to boot i.e. to blue screen then without this recovery key then there is absolutely no way anyone on this planet would ever be able to get back into your PC and rescue your PC and more importantly rescue your data. If you do turn off device encryption then please make sure that you leave your computer switched on until decryption has finished. If you do turn it off then it could corrupt your computer so it is important leave it turned on until it's finished decrypting and it tells you there that decryption is in progress so once that's finished and you've got the off button to the right of device encryption then you know it's finished and you can carry on using your PC or shut it down.